He's joined by the second speaker, Philip Wallen. He was formerly Vice President of Citibank, specialising in corporate finance, mergers and acquisitions, and at the age of 34 was rated by Australian Business Magazine in their top 40 Australian headhunted executives. But at the age of 40, he witnessed cruelty on such a colossal scale that it affected him profoundly. He decided to give away everything he owned with warm hands and to die broke, and he says so far he's right on budget. <laughs> Today he devotes his life to children, animals, the environment, the terminally ill, the homeless and the arts. He supports over 500 humanitarian projects in over 40 countries with schools, orphanages, shelters, sanctuaries, clinics and scholarships. And he's received the Order of Australia and in 2007 was Australian of the Year in Victoria. Philip Wollen. King Lear, late at night on the cliffs, asks the blind Earl of Gloucester, how do you see the world? And the blind man Gloucester replies, I see it feelingly. And shouldn't we all? And I discovered that when we suffer, we suffer as equals. And in their capacity to suffer, a dog is a pig, is a bear, is a boy. Meat today is the new asbestos, more motorous than tobacco. CO2, methane and nitrous oxide from the livestock industry are killing our oceans with acidic, hypoxic dead zones. 90% of small fish are ground up into pellets to feed to livestock. Vegetarian cows today are the world's largest ocean predators. The oceans are dying in our time. By 2048, all our fisheries will be dead. The lungs and the arteries of the earth. An entire species are wiped out every year because of the actions of one. And we are now facing the sixth mass extinction in cosmological history. If any other organism did this, a biologist would call them a virus. It is a crime against humanity of unimaginable proportions. But happily, the world is changing. Ten years ago, Twitter was a bird sound. WWW was a stuck keyboard. Cloud was in the sky. 4G was a parking space. Google was a baby's burp. Skype was a typo. And Al-Qaeda was my plumber. <laughs> Victor Hugo said, there is nothing more powerful than an idea whose time has come. Well, animal rights today is now the greatest social justice issue since the abolition of slavery.